Welcome into another coin review, which has been sent in by Martin the Silver Trader. His link will be under this video heading along with the Precious Metal Forum and of course Ace Bullion, my own personal website. Um, now, if you like what you see, smash that thumbs up button and of course, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts and opinions are. As always, I actually value them. I do respond to every single one of you guys out there and uh, I, I really do genuinely want to hear um, who's collecting what and why, because I've, I'm often flabbergasted. So let's find out what this coin right here is all about. And uh, well, here we go. So here we have the queen side of the brand new Perth Mint Australian Wombat 2023. And as you can see, we only have uh, two dates on this side of the coin, 1952 to 2022. Of course, this is celebrating and commemorating when Queen Elizabeth uh, was alive and had you know served her kingdom. Um, so we do have Queen Elizabeth uh, as a portrait. Jody Clark has done this design. It has a denomination of one dollar, um, and of course we have the Australia. Um, written on the side. You can see Jody Clark's signature just down here on the left hand side. And actually it's a rather beautiful and stunning portrait of uh, the late Queen Elizabeth II, in my opinion. We move on to the sides and it is a reeded edge going all the way along the side of it. Yep, nothing that you haven't seen, but here's where things get interesting. Cause I'm pretty sure this is gonna tickle anyone who has a fancy for those fuzzy, cute looking, I don't know, adorable marsupial, fuzzy monkeys, I don't know, not monkeys, wombats. Yeah, that's right. So we have the wombat here and you know, in real life, these things are super, super cute. And some of them, well, I guess like everything is kind of ugly as well. But these little guys here are, I say little, Jesus. These are the largest, uh, shall I say, uh, burrowing mammals in the world. So they're not little by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but uh, yeah, they are little as far as I'm concerned because, well, yeah, I'm bigger than they are. So there. Hmm. Uh, but they're about the size of your dog, um, dare I say. Well, I say your dog depends on what it is. Um, and yeah, they are incredibly cute. Um, one of the critiques that I have about this coin straight off the bat is that they have too much foliage around the wombat itself. So if I kind of tilt it like this, I almost, <laughs> I almost look at this wombat and look at it as if it's a hedgehog because it's lots of spikiness. And why is there a bird? I've actually Googled why, you know, birds on wombats to see if, you know, any little cute little uh, you know, chaff or whatever, uh, is gonna, you know, sit on a wombat, and I couldn't find any images, so, uh, I guess, you know, artistic, uh, license was applied there, um, we have native plants all the way around, uh, you know, that are Australian, and we have the wombat sleeping very, uh, soundly. We do have the wombat at the 12 o'clock position and we have the letter P here. We also have another hidden P on this coin. So the P represents Perth Mint, but there is a P right here on this um, second downside W. Uh, it's a really small micro engraved uh, dot. Now I'm not quite sure if I can actually do this or not or if we're gonna focus out of it, I think we're going to focus out of it here just, yep, yeah, one minute. Yeah, so I was afraid of that, but there is for sure a small P right down here on the very bottom of the W. Um, and that is Perth's uh, security measure, uh, just one of many uh, to help identify any counterfeit items. But still, don't just rely on that. If you're buying, you know, secondhand, uh, always do your due diligence, do your ping test, do your um, uh, 
magnetic slides, do your weights, do your overall sizes. I mean, there's a lot to really look at and to feature, but the Wombat, yeah, is a special, special coin. Really cute, actually. Um, and it almost looks a bit like a Quokka. Now, I'm pretty sure that'll uh, spark one of my four members attention the minute I mentioned that word quokka yes I've said it again uh, because they do have a face very similar when you're taking a look and I've done a, you know a lot of image searches online to see uh, different uh, wombats and um, you know how they're being treated and so on and so forth and some people honestly keep them as pets and wowzers I mean to lift one of these guys up is a heavy feat um, so as we can see here, I mean, it is just a little cute little guy. Um, it kind of reminds me of, um, what is it? Uh, those, oh, with the, the, the bunnies. Sorry, I'm losing the plot here. Um, we get Flopsy Bunny and so on and so forth. Tittlewinkle, is that the word? T Miss, Mrs. Tittlewinkle? Anyway, I'm sure someone will leave a comment to tell me what I'm thinking of. And I'm pretty sure that was a hedgehog anyway. So, um, but there we are. This is the very cute, brand new Wombat from the Perth Mint. A special coin. I love the matting. I love the gloss. I love the ultra high gloss, which is, you know, a reflective gloss. And uh, yeah, it is a lot of fun. So, just remember that when you're collecting these, and there's a plethora of series out there that, you know, you don't overwhelm yourself, everyone. Um, I know I feature a lot of these coins on my channel, uh, and, you know, I also know that we're coming to a point where everyone's going, ah, oh, you know, um, because it just seems to be that a lot of coins are being released, and I still have more on the way. I have more here, and I have more on the way, and I have even more to feature and showcase um that i've bought personally so um there's an awful lot of things that are happening and you know you have to choose what your preferences are a lot of these that i feature are the one ounce coins some will be you know half ounce some will be you know 10 ounce but uh yeah have a look enjoy yourselves i for all i can say jump in on the precious metal forum get in um your thoughts opinions share kind of what you're doing this isn't uh you know a boys club on the forum where everyone you know weighs up their stock it is really a you know a friendly family forum um so bear that in mind when you you know when or if you decide to join because um that is one of the rules it has to really be suitable for all family members and that includes young kids you are allowed on there, obviously, but, you know, make sure you have your parents' permission. Um, but, uh, yeah, there we are, folks. So, this is the Wombat. Let me know what your thoughts and opinions are, and I'll look forward to seeing them and responding. Have a great day. I'll see you on Friday. As always, be safe. Bye for now.